poor girls, right, are making a lot of money, which I respect greatly, in all things, but in OnlyFans, right? And I think in some level there's like a stigma, which I think is fucking ridiculous if you ask me, right? Because, you know, you're, everyone's adults here and you're almost an adult, not quite, but no, we're, all, we're all adults here in one way or another, you know, some of us barely, but we all are adults here, right? And I want to understand exactly how you do this, what the secret to your success is. There's lots of pretty girls in the world, so it can't just be a pretty girl showing nice pictures online, whether they're semi nude, it doesn't matter. It's got to be more than that. So why don't we start with you, Danny, since you're to my left here. Danny sort of is, some, some respect seems to really get this stuff. So yeah. why don't you tell everyone, explain what's the secret to your success at OnlyFans? So. I basically just started building a brand, you know, just on social media all around. So I just got really popular. And I think that for me, it was just that I just was myself, I guess. I never really tried to, like, fake, like, you know, who I was. And um, so for OnlyFans, I used to work in the nightclubs. So I was, like, popular, like, stripping and things like that. And then um, I just started, like, slowly, like, doing, like, webcam things and then, OnlyFans, and I don't know, I just really built my name. So just, like, working with a lot of other popular girls as well, just, like, collaborations, like, really helped. And then I kind of started, like, content parties, which were, like, events where other, like, um, influencers would come and create as well. And I, it was, like, basically an event where everyone would have to, like, shout each other out and things like that. So it was just collaboration of everyone's fans, and I don't know, I just really built my name that way, and now my OnlyFans. So starting off, mm. so you start off, not OnlyFans, you start off just on the mainstream yeah. social, right? What was the biggest platform you had to start with? Um, Instagram. Instagram. Yeah, and it still is Instagram. How many followers do you have on Instagram? Um, 6.4 million. Okay, and yes. what percentage of those followers are men? Um, actually, 96% men. <laughs> and 96%. it's 4.5% four, women. 4% lesbians, right? Now. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah. She's in the 4%. Oh, you're in the 4 okay. There you go. <laughs> and how about TikTok? Oh, TikTok. I hope they're watching. Um, they banned me three times, and now I can't even use my name. I literally didn't even post a picture of me, of me in a bikini. They just they discriminate against thicker women, I think it is, because... Skinny girls can wear bikinis and they can post it, but since I'm curvier, literally, they just ban me instantly. So I just restarted a new page and I can't even use my name. I it's I use like my slogan, your favorite snow bunny. So um, I now I have like fifty five thousand followers or something because I just started like a month ago. But okay. I don't. I'm not really into TikTok because of that because it bothers me. So you think TikTok? They is, hate on me. TikTok is more restrictive you. than it's what? Insta. It's off brand for you. Yeah, it's. And it's... Is it because it's a younger platform? Yeah, and to be honest, the things that I do post on there, they're super just, like, selfies. And I've never seen so much mean comments in my entire life until I, like, read my comments on TikTok. And I was like, oh, my God. It's because TikTok is full of kids, and they just It's, like, the meanest stuff I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, Instagram, I get mean stuff, but not like that. I was like, I don't even want to, like, look on TikTok. (laughs) Wow. How about Facebook? So let's go... Okay, let's now go next. Ariana. Okay. Okay. So, who's every, when did you turn 18, by the way? Congratulations. Thank Yesterday? You. No. <laughs> D- damn near, not going to lie. <laughs> when was it? Um, three months ago. Wow. Yep, yeah, in March. Or okay. four, I don't know. Can't count at this point. Is it July? Yeah. So four yeah, months July. ago. Yeah. Okay. April, well, happy birthday, belated. <laughs> Thank and you. And how long have you been on OnlyFans? Um, I started it in April. Honestly, I don't post anything crazy on there. It's all just tease pictures. And um, I have more of a kid-friendly kind of audience because my biggest is TikTok. And regarding to what she's saying, yeah, I was banned for a month. And thankfully, I got it back. But no, yeah, they definitely discriminate upon bodies because I can't post anything in crop tops. I get banned every time I post. Well, they, you're the body that they allow. It's crazy. No, because no, I, they're skinnier people. Yeah, oh, like I can't post in crop tops. Skinnier, like, like it's, I got a lot of I want to get on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I have my body. Really, you, so you guys really think that it's the thickness that they don't do. like? Well, I got. Well, no. I, I, I don't do really think it's well probably that. I think it's more than that. I'm guessing, like, a lot what of this is stuff is um, probably, you know, first of all, once you get on their hit list, probably then every, it starts to get, yeah. like, much yeah. worse, yeah. right? That, yeah. So, like, it probably, I guess if someone else with you are, that looked like you that wasn't you would probably, you know, have more leeway. But then, I guess it's a series of strict. The first strike probably makes the second strike easier to get. And They're so, like, oh, she's back. Right, yeah. right. 
So, you, so, so your stuff is, you say your stuff is less risque. It's yeah, less, I'm more of a kid friendly, but the, a lot you, of my. Just find kid friendly. Like what age group is your. You my know? age group, it's a lot of 12 year old boys. Really? <laughs> a lot of younger boys. That's my, um, my percentage on TikTok is 80% men, 80% boys, I guess you could say. And um, I got popular off of my body when I was younger and so that's honestly kind of like a dark sad side of it but um when I turned 18 I kind of took it as an opportunity to kind of take what you know gain back from what I was kind of known for um and that's when OnlyFans came into the picture and I do what, what do you mean you say what you were known for known for where like besides my personality because I do a lot of like dance videos and friend, like videos with my friends a lot of the videos that were viral were my body you know and so an OnlyFans. But not naked, room. though. No, not naked. She's right. fully clothed, but fully? she's a really great dancer. Thank you, yes. Oh, really? Like twer- twerking? I have to check that out. What, that what's too, your special? Yes. Twerking, dancing. <laughs> twerking? 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 Twerking is a major one. Yeah. <laughs> really? Are you a, can yes. you do a twerk for us right now? Yeah. Oh, not, in a, a dress? dress? Yeah, no, yeah, show oh, us a twerk. We won't, I, is everybody else? So oh, so you want to see a twerk? Everybody, every guy at least here wants to see a twerk. You guys have to go on my OnlyFans. Since you're, since, you're, since you're 18, I feel comfortable. Oh, you know, Once well, my wife is here, she'll kill me if I do this. Uh, you know. <laughs> so, so, I can't, it won't be the same with the dress. I'll show a little too much. You guys will really? be Really? You gotta, <laughs> you gotta, gotta subscribe. Twerk, but we don't want to, if you don't want to do it, you don't have to do it. You know? I can't. Be accused it, it, would it be the same? You guys would have to check on OnlyFans. Okay, yeah. so you have to pay $20 to see her twerk, right? right? But is that your specialty is twerking? Yes, yeah. I want a contest on my birthday for that too. On my 18th birthday, I want a contest for twerking. What? <laughs> She has Megan the Stallion knees. Can I yes. ask you a question? Oh. You, could you teach me to twerk? Or? I would love to. Really? I would love to. Can teach guys you. twerk? Or is it a girls thing? Guys, could, guys could kill it. What? Really? Yes, totally. Okay. I've seen it. Go viral. <laughs> okay. If if I twerk, I'm gonna get smacked in the back. I, I'm a terrible dancer, by the way. Every time I dance, my kids make fun of me. My, 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 everyone makes fun of me. Like, you look. You just do the shift of like Saturday Night Fever, like. Staying alive, like, I'm doing that old shit. Everyone, I just, you know, get, yeah, I get massive shit for it. No, that would go viral. <laughs> it would what? definitely go viral. We should do a video of us teaching you how to twerk. Yes. I think I dance so bad, there's almost like a level where it doesn't go viral because <laughs> like, I, just, I can't unsee that shit. You know no, what I'm it's so bad, so, it yeah. works. Okay, let's talk about, speaking of bad, let's talk about your mm. situation. I'm on, a bad girl. Okay, what's, tell us the situation on OnlyFans and your background. Okay, well, um, I'm Lebanese and Brazilian. I'm from Miami. I used to be like a model host in Miami, so like clubs would pay me to come and host, and I'd play my music because I am a musician. I do like R&B and Arabic music. Um, but then I started getting a lot into like uh, BDSM and being like a dominatrix, and that gave me a lot of like empowerment because I never had a dad growing up, so that kind of like let me beat men up and just be like their authoritative figure mm. and be like go back a step bitch yeah. suck my toes oh. oh, wait, I was going back to back to back to back to back beat men up so explain what you mean by beat men up like really beat the shit out of them oh hell yeah really oh hell yeah like so they go to a dungeon you just beat the living shit out of them yeah, sometimes a dungeon. Sometimes it just depends on where it was. But yeah. Like typical um, way typically was it? No, typically like hotels or like apartments. And so I would just so you get hired? You're, are you online somewhere? Yeah, I was hired. Um, and then like it got a little dangerous. So I stopped doing that completely. Even though I am like five foot 11, six foot three with heels on. I was like, this is danger, baby. So wait, 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 <laughs> we so can't be out here like this. <laughs> so, okay, let me, let me just slow this down for a second. So, so. You were online, I guess, in some sites, right? Yeah, I've okay, always then, had a pretty good Instagram following, and then like my TikTok blew up recently. But yeah, I was online. And then and and then people would what's that? TikTok's live feature. Okay, and then <laughs> and then um, wait, so then people would um, I guess Nicole, you go to their hotel room. Yeah, and they would and say like, and they would say, "I'd like you to kick the shit out of me." How would that? Yeah, in the balls. Right? Yes, That's a big one. In the balls. They'd be like, "I like you to kick the shit out of me. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to slap me. Mm-hmm. I'd like you to." paddle uh tog me and they'd they'd say like i want you to piss on me that one i wasn't really too fond of because i really didn't want to take off my clothes um unless you really had to go to the bathroom in which case would be convenient i guess right but i really don't like to pee in front of people so that one was like out of the question for me uh, okay but it just like gave me this like power trip and i'm not as much into it as i used to be 
Like, I'll do it online for shits and giggles, but I won't, like, physically meet people anymore and beat the shit out of them, which used to be so much Can fun. Can you get in trouble? Like, but I didn't know how hurt? to turn it off, and that was the problem. Mm. I didn't know how to turn it off, so how, I was just being a bitch all the how time. How bad of a beating would you... Would you give them a serious beating, like, with Do you want to find out? Well, no, yeah, really, I'm just honestly, lying. I, I, <laughs> just kidding. I wouldn't no, do that to you. No, I don't. It's like, you I know, respect you too much. My, my, my wife is like, just could have probably just beat me anyway afterwards. Uh, Christina, no, but, no, no, Christina what do you think about this? No, but, those, but the guys, is it, is it like really beating them up or is it more about like pain that doesn't leave marks? No, some people want marks. It just depends on the guy. But I feel like a lot of these guys were super... Um, just like authoritative mm-hmm. elite they had a lot of employees they had a wife or like a mother that was super submissive and like down to earth and they just want to be to talk power. shit to and they just want to be power. they want the bitch. opposite of what they're getting and in, in yeah life. yeah so like they're just praised by like everyone and then i'm just there like you're a piece of shit get on the ground you little cunt and stuff like that Ooh, bad words sorry that's okay ah! we use bad words <laughs> and, and then it. how did that transition into only fans so I realized that most of these guys were online seeking a dominatrix or seeking like BDSM. So I was like, hmm, let's see what Twitter has to offer. <laughs> and let's see what seeking arrangement has to offer. And let's see, because I don't want to have sex with any of these people. I just wanted to beat them up, even if it was online and FaceTime and, you know. It's, so verbally abuse yeah, them. Yeah, verbally abuse them. And then it just became like strictly online just for my safety. Because um, one time a guy like brought a gun and I was like, okay, I'm not doing this anymore. <gasps> this really? is crazy. Wow. He wanted okay. you to shoot him? No, he was a police officer. <laughs> oh, no. oh. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> and um, in Miami, it's legal. I don't think that's legal in California. So I was like, I want to move to California. I want to focus more on my music and my acting. Okay. And that's how I ended up getting into TikTok. Got it. And how, how large is your TikTok following? It's 1.5 million. Okay. Yeah. I just started like last year. Okay. So I love to sing. I love to dance. Um, and then I, I speak multiple languages. Like Which I speak what languages do you speak? Arabic, Portuguese, Spanish, mm. and like English. a little bit of Russian. <laughs> okay. Privet, как дела? Хорошо. Okay. Mm. I speak some Russian too. So let's go now on to you. Let's no. hear your experience. Yeah, follow that up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not beating people. Dang. I gotta, think of, so- I gotta think of something spicy. Hold on. <laughs> so how'd you get, how'd you first find, first you start obviously online, right? With just regular platforms, right? Mm-hmm. And- well, I started out a little bit similar to Danny. I did a lot of um, webcamming back in the day. I used to webcam on streaming and um, it was a lot of fun. I was super shy growing up and um, I was like a big tomboy. I was super flat chested and I came into, I got fired from Walmart and I came into desperation and I was like, how can I make some money? Um, I had a DUI, I couldn't drive nowhere. And I was like, I need to get creative. I need to figure something out. My girlfriend at the time was doing webcamming. She was just dancing around in a bikini and I was like, I can do that. I do that for free. So I started doing that. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. Um, How much did you make dancing around in a bikini? Oh my God. Um, I mean, like I think, block. I think one of the first big amounts of money I can ever think that I made was $500 in a day. It was a lot for me back then. I started over 10 years ago. I'm 35. Okay. So I remember when I made $500 the first time in a day. And I think like I had to be online for like eight hours or something. I was like, I'm rich. I can buy anything I want. My first $500. This is incredible. I didn't have to leave the house. I didn't have to do anything too crazy. I was just talking to some strangers on the internet. And so from there, as I started gaining financial um, like freedom and the money was coming in, I was like, wow, I'd be crazy not to do this. And so I did that for many years. And then I started getting into, I also, I did celeb TV. I did phone sex. (laughs) Um, and then I started into OnlyFans as well. And I was like, wow, this is even better. I don't even have to talk to anyone or look at anyone. I can do it from any time of night, no matter where I'm at. I don't necessarily have to be made up. So it was kind of just like a natural progression. 